What's up guys, it's Hubs, and I'm finally going to do uh, Lance Legend Vortex level 3 now. So I'm just going to go through my party real quick, and here we go. So first off on the left side is my Breaker Michelle, 6 star level 100 using a Masamune. Masamune increases the attack and defense by a unit by 75% for the first two turns of a battle. Uh, next we got Dual GX, mine's a Guardian type, 6 star level 100 using a Wicked Blade. Wicked Blade increases attack, defense, and recovery of your unit as long as the HP is full. That's why you see that my Dual GX has 4,000 defense. It's because of this fear. Um, also, SBB 10. So good stuff. Uh, next, I got a Lord Douglas 6 star SBB 10 as well using a Heavenly Bud. Heavenly Bud increases damage dealt during sparks by two times. Or 100%. Sorry. Uh, depends. Anyways, next we got my leader, which is a Blazing Mare, 5 star level 80, it's a breaker type. Um, the reason Mare is my leader is because um, the great boost in damage dealt to weak elements. So basically, if I'm a dark type and I'm attacking a light type, I have a huge great boost in damage offered by Mare's leader skill. Um, and the sphere she's using is a Dandelga, which is the reward from the Vargas Legend Dungeon, which increases HP and attack by 30% and offers a small field in the Brave Burst Gauge at the end of the turn. Next and finally we got my Terminator Lilith, 6 star level 100 anima type, SBB 10, and she's using a Geld Knight Axe, which is another high level arena reward, which gives us a significant boost in critical hit chance and doubles critical hit damage. So anyways, I'm just going to start out the quest now. So we got it, and my thing still shows like Crusader 6 Heroes. I think this is right, it shows Vargas there, but... I thought it was supposed to show Lance at some point, but I don't know, mine doesn't, so it doesn't matter, whatever. Um, anyway, so you can see I've got level 3 unlocked now, um, so I'm going to go ahead and go through it. And I'm going to use Mare as a friend, so my buddy here, Havoc, has an Anima Mare, using a Leg 1 gem. Um, and for items, let's see, I'm going to use Holy Flute, so I can get full Brave Burst Gauge at the end of the second turn, which only has two enemy units, so I kind of need it. Mooncake... Uh, I don't know about Mooncake. I think I'm going to ditch the Mooncakes for Dark Ores, just because I have two Blazing Mares and Dual GX, so that's going to offer a lot more uh, damage. And then I'm going to have Fusion Tonics, Fusion Potion, and Brutal Exers, um, for obvious reasons for filling up the Brave Burst Gauge at the first turn. So here we go. So there goes 50 energy. I hope this was worth it. Um, Alright, let's see. So, there's four enemy units. First thing I'm going to do is pop a Dark Ore. I'm going to pop a Holy Flute. Um, I'm not going to use any Brutal Exers in the first turn, but I'm going to Fusion, so Fusion Tonic my Lilith, because Lilith, her SBB, if you use it, it completely refills anyways. And then I'm going to pop it on my Douglas, my GX, and then I'm going to put another one on my Michelle. And I'm going to save one just in case I need another at another time. So the order of activation is going to be Michelle because she's going to give me that boost to fire damage, which is the reason why I have two mares because they'll do a lot more damage. Then I'm going to do my Douglas next because his super ravers also increase the spark damage. Then SGX for critical hit rate. Um, next by Lilith, and then I'm just going to attack with two mares. And you can see a lot of damage has been done. And oh wow, I did not kill the Douglas. That's kind of surprising. Actually, that's pretty surprising. Oh, wow. That could have been very bad. Anyways, kill the Douglas. Um, anyways, I sh don't think I'll have that problem with the next one, just because I think that was kind of special. Because I didn't have Brave Burst on my two mares. Um, I c that could have also been mitigated easily if I used some Brutal Exers as well. So here we go. It's going to be the same thing. So Dark Ore, Holy Flute... And then I'm going to activate Brutal Exer on five or four of my units. So um, probably do this guy, this guy, mm, probably not GX, probably my Mare and Lilith. And let's see, everyone's at full Brave Burst. So, okay, here goes Michelle. Let me go with Douglas. Then we go with SGX. And then Mare, Mare. And then Lilith to smack someone in the face really hard. Boom. Pretty sure that's... Oh. So did not one-shot the tree. Wow, the... I'm surprised, actually. Because when I ran um, the Vargas dungeon with Tiara, I was one-shotting everything. 
but regardless, it doesn't really matter, because I can just smack him like this, and now he's dead. <laughs> That's funny. Wow, I basically one-shot him. Uh, maybe it was luck. Maybe it wasn't luck. Who knows? Yeah, I guess it could have been luck too, because Lilith is using um, crit rate stuff. Anyways, it doesn't really matter. Here we go. Here's the last one. So dark or brutal extras on everybody. Um, don't need a f my last fusion potion. Um, I really hope this is a one shot. I don't think it will be though. But here we go. So Michelle Douglas, SGX, Mare, Mare, and Lilith. And I kind of think probably if I didn't bring this Douglas, if I had another Lilith maxed out, this would probably have been a one-shot. But as you can see, it wasn't a one-shot. And wow, I might... Yeah, I'm going to have to use a gem. Um, just because he killed everybody. Which I don't really mind doing anyways, just because you get three gems for completing this. So here we go, and then I'm going to kill him now. Yay, let's just activate another one of those, just for fun. Um... Yeah, I don't know, there's not much else to say about this, other than the fact that I couldn't one-shot him, for whatever reason. Is my mare my leader? I think my mare's my leader, right? Anyways, whatever, it's over now. I had to use one gem because I couldn't one-shot him. Um, probably, if I had a Breaker SGX, if my friend's mare was using like a Gal Knight Axe or Wicked Blade or something, and if I wasn't using a Lord Douglas and I was using another like a Breaker Lilith, and if I was using two Breaker Liliths, maybe if I was using two Breaker Lorans, probably could have one-shot him, but, you know, who knows, you can keep dreaming. I'm probably not going to do this one. Well, I might do another video, just using a fire team for fun, because, I mean, these are supposed to be really difficult dungeons, but you can see everyone's just using Mare or, or um, Zira teams and getting through this dungeon with ease. Um... Whereas it's supposed to be a fun challenge that takes you maybe like half an hour to beat with a fire team. Look, like with the strongest fire teams, like six star, all level 100 fire teams, like leg one of Medulla gems. Anyways, so here's the rewards. So I got a million Zell, 200,000 Karma, a Dra Dravis. Um, hope I'm saying that right. And I got three gems. So I got the three gems, so I don't really mind using the one gem to revive. So I'm just going to go in town and I'm going to check out that new sphere that I got. Um, once I browse through all my items, I think it's gonna be down here. So yeah, right there you go. There's Dandelga, which is a Vargas sphere, and then we got a Dravis now. So boost defense and HP by thirty percent and negates all status ailments, which is like basically the best sphere you can use for a healer. Right now, for healers, I actually usually use um, what's that thing called? Cosmic Dust. It's a higher level arena reward, so it negates all status ailments and increases HP by twenty percent. So this one's obviously better. Um, instead of 20% HP only, you get defense and HP by 30, and then negate status ailments, which is great. So it's basically the best sphere in the game for a healer, and you should definitely try to get it if you can. Um, but that's it for this video, and I will see you guys next time.